my mom before she passed away was already there. Like, don't have any regrets. Say what you need to say. Yeah. That kind of thing. You know, so I'm okay with the parents. You know, if my dad went today, I, you know, it would hurt me, but I wouldn't have any regrets. Yeah, mm-hmm. more but so that's why. I, but but when she went, I was like, wow, you know, maybe some of these people who are younger that I'm mm-hmm. close to. Let me just, you know, even though I know they know, yeah. I know I've told them yeah. in the past, but it's been a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would hate for them to just, you know, whatever. And then, yeah. like, I haven't told them in a while. You yeah. know, so. I understand yeah. that. I my, get co- it. my I cousin, get it. Again, my cousin of the aunt on the, my mom's side, the one that's t- t- cancer, like, yeah. he, that he's my boy, too. Okay. Like, we're 10 months apart, and we okay. grew up next door to each other. Oh, yeah. You so guys are real this, close. Yeah, this was a great time to just remind each other, like, oh, just so, just so you know. You to answer to some of my security questions. That's how much I love you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's how it sounds like me and my nephew. We real tight like that. We we have we have lived together. Um, we didn't live together like all the way growing up, but we have lived together on different occasions. There was a time I lived with my with with uh, I lived with his family <clears throat> when I first left home, and uh, later on as a high and when he was in high school, he lived with me. Oh, you know, and uh, so yeah, we. You know, and I I used to take him everywhere. Talk about road dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to take that little dude everywhere. Like I, we was, you know, I was in all my college homecoming functions and stuff, whatever. He'd be right there with me. Going. That's but, uh, <laughs> well, with death comes life, and my little cousin and my baby brother just had babies over oh, this past that's, week. That's some good news. Yeah, so I got a new two new additions to my family, and me and my cousin are. Yeah. Seven months apart, okay. <laughs> and me and my brother are nine months apart, or nine months apart on my dad's side. So, okay, we just had a baby. All right. Well, real quick before we move on, Pip, I just wanted you to know I, I did uh, donate a little. I saw that. The- Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's really for him. my my cousin Cam is taking care of all that stuff, but I wanted to help him out. Uh. Oh. All right, you guys ready to get in these topics? I yeah. sure am. News and noteworthy. The shiznit. So, Pip, this was your story. Uh, Fantasia, uh, there's a big to do about her dollar bill dress. Like, <sighs> so, what, what, what was it about this that you wanted to talk about? Well, you know, I just, <laughs> I just don't understand why. Maybe this was one of those stories that her publicist put in there in the press out there. Just one of those things. Like, it's better to talk about talk be talked about. Good or bad, yeah, at least you're being talked about, yeah. especially when you got a new album out. Yeah, right. True. So there was controversy. So she wore this dress that was uh, basically the a hundred dollar bill. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't made out of hundred dollar bills, but that was the fabric. So Ben right. Franklin's on it and stuff like that. And then some black Twitter took her to task for wearing a slave owner on her dress. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, so that's what I was missed. I was like, I know there's something to the story why he put it in here. But I don't see it. I read the story. I was like, I don't get it. So I was like, I'll just ask him about it. Yeah, it's the dumbest <laughs> thing in the world. First wow. of all, that's how the money, all the money got slave owners on. Okay. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> so. They were dragging her so bad for everything they about were. that dress. Yes, like the style of the dress because it wasn't like appropriate to wear to the type of event see, she that's, was at. This is when I hate black Twitter. Yeah. This yeah, is when I hate was, black Twitter. And it was, a, it was a cute. I thought it was cute too, was especially cute. for Fantasia because I'm going to be honest. Her, she like, the new Aretha Franklin of fashion. Not yeah. good. Yeah. Not good. Yeah, yeah. So when she hits it, I'm like, yes, yes, you look good in that. Mm-hmm. It was nice fitting. You had the right accessories. I I, I liked it. It was kind of old school black because everything matched. It was yep. all the all yeah. deal from head, from head right, to head. Right, right, right. So I was like, I was I was feeling it myself. And then they were trying what to was get it, What was the occasion that she wore it for? It was a black tie event. Oh, <laughs> but she's in the music business. That's but how music she was people. To make a statement. That's how rock and roll she was? people yes. do. What statement was she trying to make? I don't remember exactly the statement she was trying to make. Something about the other money talks. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Let me talk bullshit walks. <laughs> yeah, something like, you know, she's not the... She after that bag? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Go buy my new album. <laughs> well, she's her new album is tight, so well, I, I ain't mad at it. I, I kind of I can understand you, you know, making some... First of all, she didn't need to be taking a task for any reason, really. Right. But I understand comments about... Because I, I, like, I thought it was a cute outfit or whatever. I didn't, you know, I didn't really see what the fuss is about, but I didn't know it was for a black tie event. It's not appropriate for a black tie event, in my opinion, or most people's opinion. I can understand some comments about that, 
anything beyond that is is kind of doing too much. And it's I ridiculous. still think that's a little bit excessive. Saying Let that her live. Not, it's uh, Fantasia. Here, it's still, it's still, there's still decorum, and there's still, you know, yeah, uh, I suppose that, but there's still tact, and there's still class. There's certain things, whatever. There's certain places, and certain, you know, I you am, do this I for this or that, for that, whatever. So, uh, I don't have a problem with you know saying, hey, that's you know, that's not really appropriate attire or whatever, and yada yada yada. But uh, like I said, anything beyond that is ridiculous. But I feel like people in rock and roll and the music industry usually get passes with those kinds of things anyway. Right. They're always wearing something outrageous and cutting edge. I think they, they take a pass whether they get one or not. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It also has something to do with the designer as well. The designer... Yeah, and she was wearing it. Through, it was New York Fashion Week. Yeah, so she was wearing. She was trying to make a statement. I am not mad at Tasha. Go ahead, Tasha. <laughs> I really love what she wore in her video for Bad Girl. I haven't seen it yet. So she's got a new album out. You said right? Her new album is tight. Is it? It is. Okay. It is. It is really good. Enough is is a great song. Uh, PTSD is a good song. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, she's a, she does a duet with her mama on the, okay. like, the final track. That's pretty good. I'm here for the song titles. For me, she's one of those people who I recognize that she's extremely talented, but I just her not music. into her. Yeah, no, her that's music how I was. Not, I'm just not into her. Like, I I, yeah. My cousin Cam, whose mom just passed away, she's the one. He's the one that turned me around. Okay, because he made me listen to an album. Like, I'm not interested. I've I've, I've already. <laughs> I, I like you. I'm like I got. She, I know she's got talent. I wanted right. her to win that season yeah, after yeah. Jennifer Hudson got kicked yeah. off. I'm like, yeah. it's, it's got to be Fantasia, and she won. I was super happy for her. And then she's saying that I believe so. I'm like, oh shit, I ain't buying none of this. Um. <laughs> so, <laughs> and they got her singing yeah. Disney music I, yeah. I, I, with that voice. I like that. Um, I like that Aretha Franklin comparison. Um, yeah, the Aretha Franklin of fashion. Well, well, well. I think it goes deeper than just the fashion, though. She kind of reminds me of a modern day Aretha Franklin. Yeah, you know, the, her tone. Like it, you mean, like as an artist too? Uh, not so much as an artist. The way she lives her life. Just yeah, just kind of something about her. Just remi- kind of reminds me of Aretha. Like I get that because yeah. Aretha kind of just always. I mean, I, Aretha did start off with a little bit of head because she was definitely middle class, mm. upper middle class, okay. black coming up because her father was a famous preacher. But she did kind of remain herself her whole career. She was just mm. like this. I'm just some black lady singing, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that Fantasia carries that. I'm just some black lady singing. Yeah, I've been blessed by God, yeah. and I'm gonna use my gift. And she to says sing. it all the time. Yeah, yeah. But they do. They need a stylist oh. <laughs> desperately. Uh, well, you know, she she'll, 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 she'll tell you real quick because of her losing all her money the first time around. Her her first fortune that she's very conservative with her money now you know she don't have a whole bunch of somebody said something made a comment to her about um uh i think like it was a fan because you know all fans assume that all stars are you know rich yeah, yeah. Ball, just balling out of control right. and they said something about must be nice to have you know people cooking for you and this and that or whatever and she's like oh no honey i, I don't live that kind of life right. <laughs> i cook for myself <laughs> i do this for myself i do i like mm-mm. she's like i learned the first time <laughs> And no, I'd live a real simple life and da da da. And she's like, oh, yeah. She, she, she was really grateful to Tyler Perry for uh, helping her get back on her feet, you know, and all that. And uh, yeah, see, yeah. They look kind of look alike. Yeah, yeah that's Aretha I'm, Franklin. That's what I'm saying. There's a, yeah, there's a, there's a, a, a thing. There's a similarity there. Dijon just pulled up a picture of Aretha Franklin and Fantasia side by side. And a young Aretha, mm-hmm. even with the haircut, yeah. looks like Fantasia. Yeah. Or Fantasia looks yeah. like her. Because right. if you guys remember back in the day, Aretha Same. used to wear the shortcut. Yeah. The, yeah. Little bop, yeah. All right, so uh, this is, the next story is a cautionary tale for uh, all you selfie lovers out there. There's a woman banned for life. For life. For life. Uh-oh. For, for life. life. Yeah, like Mac-10. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> From Royal Caribbean cruises after climbing on the ship's railing to take a selfie. Oh, no. Did she get it? I'm sorry, to take a photo, not oh. a selfie, a photo. Because she, she uh, actually, actually, her friend was taking a picture of her. So it wasn't a selfie. It was just a photo. But for all you IG people who are fanatics about taking, you know, ris- risque pictures, and and uh, or risky pictures, I guess I used that wrong. Risky mm-hmm. pictures, yeah. You don't want to do that. You want first of all, it's very dangerous to your life. Or maybe you do want to do it because then you help thin out the herd. You know, right. <laughs> right. evolution. You know, but uh, if you really don't want to, you know, there's 
places like this Royal Caribbean that, and rightfully so, because if you hurt yourself, the first person, the first thing you're going to do is call your lawyer to sue right. the Caribbean airlines. That's and so true. they're saying like, Oh, we'll have none of that. And so they catching anybody. They are dropping your ass off at the next port. Ooh. Yes. They dropped her ass off in Jamaica. Oh my God. And it's on her. How did she get home? Oh, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's how cruise ships do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Once, Anytime once you, you get in trouble, there's no three strikes. You're out. No, you, you out. Oh, yep. wow. At the and next drop it. off spot. Wow. Right. So how, oh, they lucky it ain't my care. ship. Cause I put your ass out in the ocean. <laughs> 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 no shit. But you know what? I also, I, I'm also down for Royal Caribbean, Caribbean doing this too. Cause I having worked on a cruise ship. Once somebody does something crazy, it's like a disease. It spreads very quickly. Yeah. And everybody wants to just, I'm going to climb up there and take a photo too. Right. Don't they have like little jails on the ship? They do have they a jail on the ship. Yeah, the do. brig. Yeah. The brig. Yeah. But they just didn't lock her up. Well, it wasn't a crime. It was just stupidity. That was just bad. And, it, you know, break, breaking the rules and all that. And they made an example out of her. Like, you know, hey. They, She's stupid. Why like, would you risk your life? To, <laughs> these people. Oh, my God. Everybody falling off a cliff for the picture. Don't Didn't they see the time when the baby fell out the window on accident off the dang yeah. on ship? And y'all want to climb over the rail? Well, Ships are unpredictable. They rock and they roll. You can hit a whale. You can, what? <laughs> Yeah, one, one of the biggest. Oh my God. One of the biggest. Oh yeah, the one of the biggest ways that of of, of um, deaths that are up is because of people taking photos. Wow, a lot I of selfies it. and and just dangerous photos for Instagram, Not whatever looking. else. A lot of people are dying behind that. Yeah, it's, it's I like, can imagine. Yeah, That's really, terrible. really up there. So yeah, it's crazy. And so then, what did her friends say? We don't know. Her friend got banned too because she was a part of it. Oh, both. Yeah, they both got banned. They yeah. both. They both got kicked off for life. For life. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. They should take your little raggy Bye. money to another cruise line with that. Bye. Yep. They're like, you're not gonna be hurting yourself and then suing us. They wouldn't even let her come back another time. No. Nope. I wonder. Mm. What, I wonder. Was it an for altercation life. that in? ensued after this nope. why would you ban somebody for life like if nope. it's a grown adult and you can just say hey get down from there and then they and then they just no the, well they, they this was after the fact they didn't even catch them in the act oh see while they were taking the picture uh a, a busybody citizen who uh took a picture of them was like hey that's not safe they took a picture and they showed it to the to the uh the crew to the staff and somebody then they went to, yeah, somebody <laughs> snitched. And, uh, uh, and so that's, uh, that's what happened. You are no longer welcome. Yep. Ever. Uh, cruise ship Carol. We'll see you. In, we'll see you in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> cruise ship Carol done snitched on the selfie people. Bye, bitch. Mm-hmm. Gotta go, crazy. gotta go. You better get on that Norwegian line on your way there uh, while you're there. Yes, and right. See, this is, this is my thing about Princess that. Princess Cruise, get the on the love who- boat. <laughs> <laughs> you better take another cruise line. You better take Carnival. Look for Gopher in them. <laughs> mm. uh, okay. So down in uh, Tennessee, Tupac Shakur was booked on charges of aggravated assault, resisting arrest, simple possession of meth. Mm. An unlawful drug paraphernalia. Hold up, hold up. Mm-hmm. This is 2019. Was this an old story? Nope. Brand new story. Down in uh, Tennessee. Tupac Secure. And when Tupac ever do meth? <laughs> it's a simple possession. So. Oh, no, so he didn't do meth. He just had meth. <laughs> so, well, he had paraphernalia. So he had paraphernalia. The yeah, he had paraphernalia. Back on the fence. So I'm well, guessing this is not the Tupac that no, did the movie with is, Janet Jackson. This is no, this is not. I'm guessing that it is because you know he been popping up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. This uh, one got me. This is not the Tupac. Mm-hmm. This Tupac is a 40 year old white man. What? Yes, indeedy. 40 year old white man with neck tattoos. What? <laughs> He must have changed his name because his mama didn't name him after That's Tupac what I he think. was 40. I think so, too. I think that, too. But uh, they didn't elaborate on any of that in the story. <laughs> they did not elaborate. They just left that to our imagination. And his name is Tupac Shakur. That, that is his name. That is his legal government name. <laughs> God, I know those officers was like, the fuck? <laughs> Taking that mug shot. Yeah, no. 
Wow.